Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own YouTube channel. Now the only thing you actually need to create your channel is a Gmail account. And once you've signed into that, the first thing I want you to do is look at your profile picture, which will show up right over here. If you don't have one, it'll just be a letter like you see here. This is going to show up whenever people search for your YouTube channel. So it's a good idea to put a picture here that you'd want other people to see. The dimensions of this are 180 by 180 pixels, which is really small. So a good idea to do is to make your own logo to put in that spot. A free website that I use is photop.com. And when you start a new project on this, just make sure you say 180 by 180 pixels, and then that should get you started. So you'll see that I created this earlier, and that's the picture I'm actually going to choose to create my new logo. So I click on the camera here under our account, select the photo from computer. Here it is. And I'm just going to spread this out to the full length of the picture, set as profile photo. And there it is. So people are going to be able to see that once we actually make our YouTube channel. From here, we're going to go to YouTube. There's many ways to do that. You could just type it in in your browser or go here under Google Apps and it should show up right here, YouTube. To create our own channel, we are going to here and say create a channel. So let's get started. So choose how to create your channel. If you do your own name, let's say you actually use your real first and last name, that's what everyone will see on your YouTube channel. But I want this as just a new channel name. So even though I created this Gmail just for this channel, I'm going to make a custom name. So I'm selecting this option. If you use the other option, it usually only lets you do two words, like a first and last name. So it's a good idea to always create your own channel name so we can make it whatever we want. In this case, my channel name is going to be called Now Learn This. So you see you have a hundred characters available to you and you say, I understand that I'm creating a Google account and create. So it looks like we have already created it. We're good to go. And since we actually didn't use the option of our own name, we're going to make our profile picture the same thing that we did before. So upload the picture. Same one, and there it is, good to go. So what you want to do now is create a channel description. So what is your channel going to be about? Well, you could type in anything you want. So here I did my description. I only used about, let's see, 71 out of a thousand characters. So you can make it however long you want. And this is just so viewers, when they come to your channel, they could see what your videos are all about. Now, maybe you have a website that you want to add to your YouTube channel. That would be a good time to put it here or other social media links that you want to add. For now, I'm just going to save and continue. Our YouTube channel has been created. You see our name here, our logo, and I think it's a good idea before you upload your first video to actually customize your channel. So if we click that, you'll see that we don't have any channel art. We want to put that in there because if someone comes to our channel, we want it to look more professional than just having a blank screen there. We don't have any videos yet, obviously, but we do have something in the about section because we put our description earlier. If you ever want to change that, you click this edit right here. And you can also add something like a business email. 
So maybe someone wants to contact you to have you do an ad for them. It's a good idea to put your business email there or your personal email if you just want to use that. And again, you could put more links here to something like your website or social media. Location, we're going to do that right now. Go down to United States, our updated country. And we're also going to do the email. And I'm just going to use the email that I use for this account. Done. So people will be able to see that now if they want to contact you about an ad or something like that. So when you are ready to upload your channel art, all you have to do is click this little pencil right here, edit channel art, and it's good to see the pixel size right here, 2560 by 1440. That is perfect for your channel art and also the maximum file size of six megabytes. So a good site that's free that I like to use is called Canva. So canva.com. And why I like it is because it has templates that you can already use. So if we click on create a design and let's just YouTube and it'll pop up with something like YouTube channel art. And those are the exact pixels that we were looking at before. So click on that. And there are plenty of free templates that you can use to create this. And when you scroll over here, you'll see that it says free on the ones that are free. So we can use all these for free. This one doesn't pop up as free, so we can't use that one for free. So let's say we like this one. We just drag it over here and then we can start editing from there. So I was already working on one for my page and I created this and the first time I created it and I downloaded it, I just clicked download and PNG was suggested, but unfortunately it was too big of a file size. So instead I'm going to actually go to JPEG right here and download. So when we go back here, we can select photo from computer. And the last time I did it, this was the PNG right there. And it was 7.43 megabytes. Remember, our maximum size was 6 megabytes. This one that I just created, the JPEG, is a lot smaller, 877 kilobytes. So we are going to use that one. And this is what it'll look like on the desktop, the TV, and a mobile device. We'll click Auto Enhance and select. And there it is, saved. And that is our channel art. Now, if you look at it and you don't like it, like I see this, it's kind of cut off. Let's see what it looks like as a returning subscriber or a new visitor. It doesn't really matter. Here we go. Perfect. It's not cut off. We like that. Now, the reason why I like the Canva templates is because if you're just creating this on your own, it's kind of hard to tell where these things will appear, but it has the title right there for you. And that's a good spot. So just like this, that title centered for you and it's going to be there in YouTube. So your viewers will be able to see that nice and clearly. All right. It looks like our YouTube channel is fully created and you'd be ready to upload your very first video. I hope you guys found this information helpful and I'll see you in the next one.